Centipede, and I'm back with another video. So today, uh, I don't know how this is gonna go because like I'm kind of recording with like an injured finger on my right hand, so I don't know how it's gonna go. So I decided, well, hey, I need a village. Oh, so let's just. This is a little early, but here are llamas. They're a new addition. I'll get back to them later. But I was thinking, well, I need a village to start. And look at that. Look at what we have right here. We have a village. Who knew? This is the first time I've loaded up this world. First time, I promise you. So, basic... Oh! Oh, that's a librarian. Okay. So, um, the... You're gonna need to look for the cartographer. They also wear white. They can be mixed up easily with uh, the librarian, as you saw. Uh, hello, nitwit. That is the new profession of villager, aside from cartographer. Do we have a cartographer here? Yeah, we do. So, we'll need some paper. So yeah, we'll want some emeralds, some compasses. I think that's all we'll need. So we give him the paper. Now we wait for his trades to refresh. Compass. So... Uh, so basically, the point of this is you can now get really cool things. So wait a sec. Now, 17 in the, in the compass. Now I'll wait for them to refresh one last time. And... Oh. Uh. Ah. Aha. And then. Uh, no. And then this is good. So now, we, as you see, we have two maps. Uh. I don't need those, but whatever. Two maps. A woodland explorer map. And an ocean explorer map. So I'm going. So basically, the way these work is. You see the dot down there? So, basically it leads you to that, but there's a new command, which I will show off now. Locate. You can locate a village, and it says there's a village right there. Sorry, I took a screenshot there. And we're very near the village, as you see. But now I'm going to do slash locate monument. It finds the monument for us. And then we're going to teleport ourselves to negative 1. 896. Just do 100. Negative 2408. Now we're in the sky above the mansion. Or are we? We should be. Huh. Uh, wait a sec for this to load in. Uh, okay, sorry for the lag. So now, as you see, we are above the monument icon on the map. So, that's that. Uh, uh, I'm going to leave this place. Um, and I'm going to head over to a new thing called the Woodland Mansions. And we're teleported here. And we... 
All right, this thing needs to load. Zero chunk. I don't know what happened. Interesting. All right, there you go. Uh, okay, sorry for that. So this is not loaded. How did I end up there? Alright, hi, I'm back. So, it loaded. Um, this is the mansion. Uh, so, this is the mansion. I'll go into spectator for this. So, there are some new mobs. Aha, they're right here. They're called, uh, Vindicators. Slash Evokers. And basically, uh, they look like that. That is an evoker. If it's wearing that robe, it's an evoker. That is a vindicator. And they have their own special noise. It's incredibly cool. And there are these things called vexes. I'll go over the new uh, mobs later. But this is the Woodland Mansions. It's a new structure that you can find. It's massive. So, yeah. And it's a good segue into... Um, my next piece here, uh, what we're going to do is slash game rule keep inventory true. Let's get ourselves the new item, the totem of undying. So the way this works, I'll show you in a sec. You need to be holding it in one hand. Uh, game mode zero. And let's, yeah, normal. Actually, you know what? Slash spawn point. And now, let's set this to hard. And you walk off. And it saved me. So there's a bug. I'm pretty sure they fixed it in the new snapshots, but uh, it's basically that the animation, the saving animation, if you will, from the uh, from the totem of undying doesn't work. Slash uh, locate village. Do this again, slash TP one eight eight oh one hundred fifty negative one two one five two. And we're now somewhere over a village. Yep, there the village is down below. No. Let's go back to that first village. 24, 172. Let's just go here, see what they've got. So where's the top of that hill that I spawned on? Here. Perfect! Hooray. So there's also a bug in the snapshot. So these are llamas. There's a bug in the snapshot where the hearts don't show once you've tamed them, but that doesn't matter for this. We'll know once I've tamed it. So basically I'm going to try to tame this llama. It doesn't appear to like me. Eh, oh well, it'll eventually. All right, so I have tamed it. So uh, you get carpets. This is how you decorate them. I'll get just a lime carpet to make things simple. 
and now it has a design depending on the color of the carpet. And now we can get a chest, and you can put the chest on the llama, and depending on the strength of the llama, you can have more slots. So we'll get ourselves a lead. And now this llama will follow me around. So this could be like revolutionary for traveling. As you may see that the llamas follow behind in a caravan style. Um, and I have not tamed those llamas. So say what I could do here is I'll put something there and then say I've also tamed this llama and then there's another kind of llama over there and then so basically uh, you're going in the wrong direction but basically I'm trying to tame this thing no I don't know what this llama is doing All right, get out of the water. All right, come. I'm going to bring this guy over here to this llama. Now I'm going to unlead him, put a chest on him, I'll get a carpet, just get a random carpet. This, uh, this llama has a lower strength, so it has fewer slots. But basically now, this could be revolutionary for traveling. Because you could basically move your entire house. Um, because you have all of the supplies here. Now you can feed them hay. And you can also breed them using hay. Alright, let's try that. And there you go, you've got a baby llama. So, this is really interesting because, uh, again, traveling will be so easy now because you can basically, tra you can, it's a portable house basically. All you need is some blocks to build and you're set. Get a brown carpet for this one. There. Did I, which one did I tame? Not that one. This one. I'm going to try to tame this one now. Come on! Llama! So basically now I'll get a carpet again. Uh... So basically, llamas are incredibly useful. 
uh, come here. And they've created a new baby llama. Just like that. So I think the llamas are incredibly useful. Uh, so uh, if you couldn't tell, this map was main. This update is mainly survival based. Um, but that's okay. I kind of like survival. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. Uh. But since it's mostly about survival, uh, I think, yeah, so this is a very interesting update. I'm almost done with it, uh, the video. What am I talking about? Oh, no, never mind. Sorry. But now it's time to, uh, wait, what? Sorry. Okay. All right. So I've got the new things and then the spawn eggs. So there are two new books. They are the curses, curse of binding and curse of vanishing. So we'll get rid of that and that slash clear. Now we'll get ourselves an anvil. A spawn point here. Sword. Helmet. Uh. And we'll just get a milk bucket for comparison. All right. So once you have that, uh, let's get our anvil here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, okay, so, also, uh, zombie villagers now have their own new special noise. Alright, but basically that's that. We'll do spawn point, I already did that, water as well, water is always a good lawn mower. So, uh, alright, so basically, bucket, alright, so, you're kidding me, right? All right, I guess I'll have to resort to a sponge. All right, so now basically we've got the helmet with the curse of binding. So the curse of binding, um, well, it's peaceful here. Game mode, zero. Game rule, keep inventory false. Um, now, this thing is on me forever, or well, until it breaks. And then this thing, it just die, it, it just disappears when I die. So I die. And, uh, let's see. The, uh, the sword is nowhere to be found. So, curses are a little interesting factor. You can troll your friends with them. Alright, so now we're getting to the last part. So, so here we are. Sorry about that. What am I doing? Uh, so, there got a few more features. Uh, this recording is actually uh, it being recorded 
after the original recording. I forgot these. So, yeah. Um, so I'm going to show you a few things. Uh, I'm going to show you crafting recipes. So the shulkers, uh, mobs from 1.9, drop shulker shells. So we're going to need some of these. Uh, I'm just getting the materials. So actually, I'll be right back when I get the materials. All right, so we've got everything. This is the observer. It does what it says. It emits a redstone signal from that side, and it observes from that side. So basically, it will send a redstone signal, and I'll tell it to place down um, a dispenser. You know what? I just had an idea. There goes up there. Um, and we'll put in here a shulker box. All right. So basically, um. The way that this works, I'm gonna get a piston. Get a torch. Uh, so yeah. And okay, so I'll just do this quickly right here. Uh, put our piston down. There, and I'll activate the piston, and a shulker box should come out because of the observer. So, this is a block update observer. Strange. Didn't put out the signal. Uh, try facing it the other way. Hmm. Okay, well, this block is called the observer, as you see, and it somehow works. I forget exactly how, but oh well. And the crafting recipe for that is you'll need three cobblestone above the top like that, three cobblestone on the bottom like that, two redstone, and one nether quartz, and that gives you an observer. All right, now again for the crafting recipes, a shulker shell. Okay, you can do it in the middle. Oh wait, you have to do it in the middle. So that gives you a shulker box. There's a glitch where you cannot um, die the shulker boxes in survival. Actually, but that the bug that was fixed though. I don't know why I'm recording this in the first snapshot. At the time I'm recording this. Uh, two bug fix snapshots have already been released. So I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just am. And finally, I think this, this is also pretty cool. Basically, uh, so let's get ourselves a potion. Potion of, we need a splash potion of something. Splash potion of swiftness, perfect. Uh, here, this. This is good, and now we'll just get a creeper. Uh, put this on easy, done, back to game. Now this feature is pretty cool. A creeper, I throw this on it. Actually, you know what? Uh, get ourselves some milk. So now, uh, now we get ourselves a flint and steel. 
and we'll light this creeper. And you'll see it leaves a lingering effect of speed. So if I walk into the remains of the creeper, I have speed, as you can see, up here in the top corner. So that's pretty cool. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you what am I doing? I honestly don't know. Never mind that. Uh, of the video here. That is the new snapshots. Uh, all of the spawn eggs that were added in, that were removed in Minecraft 1.10 pre number two, except uh, have been re-added except for the cat. So let's go over what they are. So and there's also the llama. So llama, husk, uh, elder guardian, donkey. Sheep, rabbit, polar bear, uh, zombie pigman, pig, ocelot, mushroom, mule, mule, uh, magma cube, shulker, silverfish, skeleton, skeleton horse, skeleton horse, uh, zombie horse, oh, that's a slime, spider, squid, stray, yes, a stray, uh, Uh, ah, uh, yeah. All right, zombie horse, wither skeleton, zombie villager, uh, um, and then evoker, vindicator, and vex. So these are all of the new spawn eggs. Let's go over here. Um, uh, we're missing the evoker. Evoker. All right, so we have the evoker. All right, so we have the evoker as well now. Yeah. Oh, we have two. Okay. But I'm going to put this on easy. And I'm going to spawn them in. Wither skeleton. Wither skeleton. Zombie horse. Stray. Skeleton horse. Mule. Donkey. Elder guardian. Husk. So I went over husks in the previous update. Llama spawned a baby. Uh, and then the three new other spawn eggs. So vexes, you'll see why vexes are cool. So the evoker that I was talking about is wearing that special robe. It has a special attack. Vindicators, uh, they. Here, let me show you. I'll get a villager through. And the they will go after the villager. They attack the villager. Okay, yeah. So that shows you. There's the Vindicator, and you saw the Evoker's attack there. And the that spawned in a Vex. So Vexes are flying little animals, which can be really helpful for, like, map makers. So these are all the new spawn eggs. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Please like. Oh, wait, I forgot. The zombie villager? Did I do that? I did not spawn in the zombie villager, I don't believe. Uh. Uh. Uh, turn it back to easy. And I'll get a zombie villager. And these are all the new spawn eggs. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time with another video.